Hello, welcome to sonnyvegas.co.uk. My name is Chima. Uh, today I'm going to show you some transition progress velocity envelopes. Now you may be familiar with envelopes. You've probably seen them before um, when you right click on a, a, as he says, trying to find it all. Let's right click here, there we go. Insert, uh, remove envelope and it says velocity. You may not have noticed the other one, but there's a transition progress one just underneath it. And what that will allow you to do is things like this. And things like this. The velocity envelope works, uh, sorry, the velocity envelope and this work exactly the same way, so you can put markers in, etc. Uh, now with the, this one here I've used the blinds to get that effect. Now normally I would have gone into um, pan crop or over on the left here and used my um, track effects. Sorry, not my track effects, what am I on about? My motion tracking and do it that way, but this is much easier or can be depending on the effects you want to, to, to achieve. So let's have a look how we've done that. Let's go to my uh, project media and what I've done is got track A, we'll put A down, and B, there we go. Just bring this on here so you can see this bit. And obviously we've just got a standard cut there. Let me turn this full down to just auto. Boom. There we go. And it will stay like that obviously until until the end of uh, to the end of the clip and go back again. Let's double click there and that is 10 seconds long. We'll take that down to say five seconds, which is about there. Dump. Now I'm going to do is go to transitions, go to blinds, uh, to spin, drop that on, uh, which I cannot do. <laughs> do you know what? I don't know why I'm doing this uh, because there's no transition there. So what we need to do is make a transition. There we go. Drop that in there. Now you can see we've got a 3D blind. It goes all the way around and goes from A to B just as you'd expect it to do. And then back to A again. So really what we're going to do is move that right across, not quite across because we just want to leave these bits because I want to show you how, how I've got that lined up um, correctly. There we go. So you can see it sort of comes on hides A and then comes back again. So we right click here, go to transition progress, and we'll click say after about a second we'll hold it there, so it's about a second there, double click, uh, what's happened there? I think it's my mouse actually, it's giving me jips, time to get a new one. Perhaps if you uh, donate on my donate button I'll be able to afford a new mouse. So. Uh, this let's get rid of one of these. Delete. There we go. I'm going to set it to I think it's forty three percent is what I set the other one to. There you can see it stops and then it apparently carries on. But if you grab the end down as well to forty three percent, can be tricky with the mouse. So the best thing is to right click on the little pip and set to and type in the number. There we go and it stops and then it will suddenly go kadunk. So let's go to our, let's move these over a bit, there we go, pan and crop, there we are, oh, lost it. Now you can see we've lost it in there, if it gets stuck in there just grab the, the dots here you see, just drag it back out. I'm just trying to show you and have that all on one screen which is a bit tight. So let's go to where that first mark is, which is about there, and it doesn't look like I'm going to get to that mark, which only goes to show then that uh, I've, uh, it's in between a frame. So back to here, I'm going to pull out, there we go, move it across so it fits in here. And I'm going to keep pulling out until it does fit in that corner, which is about there. Now if we go back and we can see that. Oh, 
machine just stopping because it's making a backup of this file. There we go. A dunk. Stops there. And then all the way down and it will come back out here. So all we'll do is grab the end, take it all the way to the end. You can do that. And what I'm going to do is double click somewhere. Let's go back about a second again. Which is about here. Double click. And then drag that down there. And it should disappear, the other one. So it comes in like so, goes back like so. And with that in the background. Now if we double click the B and then go onto the A and split, press S, split, drag that across to there, drag that across to where the keyframe is there. Then on there, on the A underneath, we go to video effects, press G. Go down to Gaussian Blur, go down to not on the top one, and there we go. That will stay there and come back out. If you're not happy with that uh, sharpness in the, the sides, just use the B, press B for border. Going the wrong way now. Border, there we go, got so many effects here, I don't want to do them all. Border, border, there we go. Soft edge. There we go. So what I did there, just in case you missed that, I dragged the border to behind the pan crop so it affects it in the way I want it to. There we go. And then it finishes and comes away. And the text becomes sharper again at the back. You don't have to uh, blur that text in the back, but I just find uh, it takes that focus off. I'll normally use this perhaps during... Um, uh, an item, say a first dance, and where I want to go to an interview, and rather than break for an interview, I'll just put the other interview on the top there. So you listen to them, watch the interview with a couple still dancing in the background, and then it will come back out and carry on with the dancing, and the focus will go back onto the couple. Uh, the other one that I showed you, which was this one, you imagine it like a, 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 a cine film frame, and if we get those two again. Grab A, grab B, drag it over the top. Transition, and this one I used was push. So we come down to push. There it is, push up. Drop that in there. There we go. And now you'll see that we'll just go standard transition going from bottom to top. Whereas if we right click again, insert, remove envelope, transition progress. If we hold the shift key down can draw. There we go. So it could be that you've got someone pushing something and you just want to use that as a transition and then you can follow that pushing with that velocity envelope. I did once put a gap between there but I cannot remember how I did it. So a couple of years ago now in one of my videos. It, perhaps there's a... Oh, there it is. There is actually a... Uh, no, that's not push, is it? No, see, it says the slides up. Anyway, there you have it. A transition progress velocity envelope 